Hi friends, I have interacted with numerous students and every time I have suggested many online resources. However, I realized that not every student has got access to online resources and a large number of students are still dependent on the printed dictionaries. Now when I talked about the importance of pronunciations and suggested to listen to the correct pronunciations from websites, those students raised a question that was so valid. How to read the pronunciations from dictionaries? Now we all know that dictionaries also provide the correct pronunciation of every word they contain. However, most of the people can't understand them because they don't know how to pronounce the symbols that represent a particular sound. Now this video may be a solution to that problem. This video enlists most of such symbols that are used in dictionaries to represent a particular sound. So watch and listen carefully. The first one is this symbol. This is a very regular symbol. It is a form of A. The words that, that use this particular symbol are pronounced as Pat, Cat, Mat, Fat. It means the sound of this particular symbol is A and not A. Next in line is A. It is pronounced as A. So the words that will be using this particular symbol would again be pronounced as say, pay, stay, may and many more such examples can be there. Next is air as in care, fair, stare, mare. Air is the correct pronunciation of this particular symbol as we see here. Father, calm, mark, spark, all the four words, they pronounce A as A, father. So it means that wherever in dictionary you see this particular symbol, A with two dots on top of it, the pronunciation would be A. Next is pet, bet, let, met and many more are there. It means in all the words where your dictionary says that this symbol is representing the sound, the sound actually would be e, as in pet or bet or any such similar words. F or F, we use it wrongly in many cases. Now wherever it is used as the letter itself that is F, we know that it is pronounced as F, but we also use the same sound or same pronunciation wherever PH or GH are used as combination as in phase or tough. The sound again would be F. E as in B, peace, peace, that means this particular symbol would always sound as E and not E, it is always E. This would however sound as E as in pit, fit, bit, spit. So for any particular word, if your dictionary shows this symbol in the pronunciation, this would sound as E and not E. Next is I as in pie, buy. Smile, style, this symbol will represent the sound I. Next is ear, as in peer. Peer again, two words with the same pronunciation but different meanings. And steer, but in all three cases, the sound would be ear because in the dictionary, this particular symbol would be representing their pronunciation. This, we make a lot of time mistakes. Why? Because we often call it as dull, as in needle, fiddle. But this is not needle, this is needle. It's dull. This particular symbol is pronounced as dull, needle, fiddle, riddle, and not riddle. It's not riddle, it's riddle. 
a this is a this is not o this is not o this is a as in pot lot tot and rot wherever you see this particular symbol the pronunciation would be a this is however o that is to fo smoke coal in all the words where your dictionary says this particular symbol the pronunciation would be o next is a as in for pa cot fort the pronunciation for this particular symbol would be a next is oi as in noise poise rejoice it means wherever you see this particular symbol in your dictionary the pronunciation would be oi u a little elongated u we often make the mistake of calling these words as took shook or book however the correct pronunciation because of this particular symbol representation would be took shook book if we look at this one this would be put root and stoop it means this would sound as u with a jerk but root stoop next is ow out stout proud i believe it was a simple one straightforward one this is a big trouble wherever s and h come as a combination the sound would be sh that is dish wash shoot cash and not this was suit or cas because it has s and h as a combination so would be pronounced as sh and not s look at this one in this you will see the combination of t and h but written in a slightly different manner in first one it is simply written however in the second one it is written in italics wherever you see a simple t and h combination this would always be pronounced as thin th think thrust however whenever you see this in italics it would always be the this that father and not this not that or not father this is a uh, a little elongated a uh, cut but nut shirt however we mispronounce them as cut but nut shut the correct is cut but nut shut this one is er as in firm term word heard another word could be hurt h u r t and not h e a r t because h e a r t would be heart and not hurt so remember wherever you see this particular symbol it is always er this again is a problem we often get confused between the usage of j and z or z as some people call it j stands for the sound of j as in juice and z or z stands for the sound of z maze zebra xylem or a very common organ xylophone musical instrument xylophone it's always z and not xylophone z and h whenever you see them in a dictionary in the pronunciation part they would always produce the sound of j as in vision pleasure measure remember this because most of the times we pronounce these words as vision pleasure measure which actually is the wrong pronunciation look at this funny looking symbol now this may look really funny but it is basically one of the sounds as in used as a uh, as in about item gallop circus a uh, this is the sound of this particular symbol and you will find it a lot of times in a dictionary almost in every third or fourth word you will find this particular symbol 
so remember it by heart and the last one would be er as in butter flutter matter this again may look a little weird however again is very very commonly used so please try to remember all these symbols whenever you read dictionary or even if any website where the sound button or the sound option is not given and the pronunciation as are mentioned in the form of these particular symbols whenever you will be using these particular sounds as per the symbol representation your pronunciation would come out to be accurate i hope this uh, video would really help in correcting your pronunciations if you like this video please post your comment if you don't like still post your comment and mention the feedback also suggest how this video can be made better because it really wants to help all the people who want to correct their pronunciation thank you very much